Indianness. So we can click on. So, okay, so before we begin, I'm going to provide the link to the challenges that uh, we're doing today. First of all, I'll provide the link to the to the particular set of challenges we're doing today, which is the PicoCTF 2024 event challenges. And then let's start with this challenge right here, which is called Indianness. So click on the general skills button right here. Uh, just so everybody knows, uh, if you want to solve these challenges, you have to first be logged into the Pico CTF website. Uh, didn't mean to do that. Okay, so the Indianness challenge is a 200 point challenge in the general skills category. Uh, the description here says, know of little and big Indian. Source code is here. Additional details will be available after launching your challenge instance. Okay, so we have a link over here that uh, that leads to a C source file. All right, so what we're going to be what we're going to need to do to solve this challenge is we're going to need to go into our web shell. Okay, so in the web shell, we're going to need to log in. Let me grab my login information. Just a second. So I'm going to copy my password and. I'm going to type in my username and I'm going to provide my password by pasting it in. And at that point, I'll be logged into my Pico CTF web shell. So let me full screen this. So the, the name of this uh, the name of this challenge is Endianness. So I'm going to navigate to that directory. And in this directory right here, we have a flag.c file, uh, which I downloaded earlier. But if you want to download it yourself, I will copy the link and I will provide it in the chat for everybody. But uh, let's take a look at the contents of flag.c. I'm going to use nano to access that. So first of all, we're going to we're going to define a word. So what uh, what this um, what the gist of this challenge uh, challenge is is that uh, you need to translate the random word that is given to you by the program into the ASCII hex equivalent of the word. So the, so the program is going to give you a word in ASCII and you need to transform those characters, those ASCII characters into the hex equivalent of those characters. So if you want to know what we're talking about, let's uh, look it up real, real quickly over here. So it's ASCII uh, hex chart. Okay, so let's just take a look at this, at this uh, image right here. So every every character inside of ASCII. So let's um, let's take a look at some of the ASCII characters um, that are familiar here. So we have capital A, capital B. Um, they each have a decimal code, uh, which in this case is 65 for capital A and 66 for capital B. And they also have a hex code, which is 41 for capital A and 42 for capital B. What we need to do is we need to translate. The characters that are that are sent by the server and turn them into their hex equivalents and send those to the server. All right. So not only that, but uh, we have to be we have to send a little endian and a big endian version of each one of these words. Uh, little endian order is where the where the the order of the bytes is. Uh, is sent from the end of the string to the beginning of the string, uh, which is basically reversed. And big endian is where the bytes are sent from the beginning of the string to the end of the string, which is uh, what most people consider to be the normal order. Okay, so if we go back to the challenge over here, 
Additional details will be available after launching your challenge instance. So this challenge right here is associated with a virtual machine and you can start your virtual machine by clicking on the launch instance button over here. So let's do that. So the great thing about the virtual machines associated with the Pico CTF challenges is that they initialize very quickly. And normally you'll have between 30 minutes and 15 minutes uh, to complete the challenge. So after we've started our virtual machine, we have a netcat command over here, which lets us interact with the challenge. So this is going to let us contact this server over here on this particular port, and that's going to let us access the challenge. We can copy this command right here, then go over to our web shell. So I'm going to get out of nano here by do, using the control X keyboard shortcut, and that gets me out of there. So I can paste in my, uh, my command over here. So remember when you're using Linux, the Linux console, you have to do you have to use control shift B instead of the regular control V to paste content into the terminal. So after we've after we connect to the server by using this command right here, you will need to find both the little endian and big endian representations of a word. If you get both correct, you will see the flag. Okay, we've got a word right here, so it's not really a word, more like a uh, random set of uh, letters. So first we have to enter the little endian representation. So what we might do is we might uh, go over to our ASCII chart and look up the small m and then the small q. So if we go to the ASCII chart, uh, small m is 6d and small q is 71. So 6d, 71. 6d, 71. Oh wait, that's not that's not how we would do it in Little Indian. Okay, all right. So I'm going to get out of here because there's um there's a timeout for this. Okay, so it's U B A Q U. So act, there's a, there's um there's a more convenient website uh, to try to translate these ASCII letters to uh, to the hex equivalent, and that's going to be we'll just look up ASCII. Um, so hex to hex to ASCII. So there's a hex to, to ASCII string text string converter um, utility on this web page right here, and we want to go from text to hexadecimal. Okay. So what we would do is we would go back to our web shell, and we would copy the word over here, and it's going to automatically cut this for us, which is great. And then we go back to our ASCII to text website right here. We paste this in and then we click on the green convert button. And it's going to feed us, it's going to give us this, um, these by this uh, hex code right here for these characters. But the thing is, is that we need to enter them in reverse order because we're dealing with little endian order. So little endian means reverse order. So it's 75, 71, 61. 75, 71, 61. 75, 60, what was that again? 71, 61, okay. 71 and then 61. And there was a couple more. 62, 75. Okay, and then we do 62 and then 75. Okay, and then it says correct little endian representation. And it says enter the big endian representation. Uh, we would do the opposite of that. So that would be 75, 62, 61, 71, 75. Okay, and this should get us the flag. Okay, so we took the uh, the word over here, and then we translated these ASCII characters into the hex version over here on this website. 
But in the first instance, we entered it in little Indian order, where the uh, where the bytes go from the last byte to the first byte, and then we reverse that for the next question, which is big Indian representation. Okay, and the flag. So the flag is this. We can copy this, and then we can go to the challenge page, and we can paste it into the flag submission field right here. Submit flag. Okay, you successfully answered the question again. Okay, so, and we can also click on the um, the thumbs up button right here to rate this as positive, uh, which would show appreciation for the challenge makers. Hey there, hacker frogs. Are you enjoying this workshop? Learning new concepts and skills? If so, there's a way you can support the channel, and it's totally free. Just click on the subscribe button below the video. Also, click on the like button. And if you have questions or comments on this workshop, please leave them below the video. Thanks for listening. And now, back to our scheduled programming.